Have you ever been driving and you arrive at your destination and you suddenly have this realization that you do not remember how you got there? You don't remember stopping at the stop sign. You don't remember turning right. You're just there and you're a little worried about how it all happened. I think sometimes our minds are wandering. We are thinking about a lot of things and we almost feel like something else took over and was driving us in that moment. And it's a scary feeling. Welcome to Wellness with Rachel. Today's topic is emotions. And a lot of times, just like when you're driving and you arrive at a destination, you don't know how you got there. Sometimes that happens with our emotions. Something is driving us and we get to a place that we're like, how did we end up here? How did this happen? How did we get to this spot? And it can be very frustrating and discouraging. So I wanna give you a tool today to help you become more aware of what you're feeling in the moment and how to process that. So I don't know if you guys have seen the movies Inside Out, but you know in the movie there's this huge control board and basically whoever is in the seat, whoever is controlling that board is the person that's driving the whole thing. So if anger is in control of the board, you're gonna see the results of that. That's exactly what it's like with our emotions. The whole movie is about emotions and this is how we see what's going on. We just don't take the time in the moment to stop and think about what is driving us. So there's a word for this, it's called mindfulness. And you've heard this floating around. I wanna kind of break it down for you a little bit and give you a tool that will help you in the moment become more mindful of what you're feeling and how to process it. So mindfulness is a mental state of being present and aware of where you are emotionally, physically, spiritually. It's really about becoming in tune with what is driving you. It takes a lot of time and effort to become emotionally mature. I just got finished reading a book called Untangle Your Emotions by Jenny Allen. It is an excellent book. It's kind of like a counseling session in book form. So she talks about your emotions and how we need to notice them and we need to recognize them and name them and feel them and share them. I don't know if you've been told that feelings are bad or maybe growing up you weren't allowed to feel or you're afraid to feel. We need to move past some of these things and recognize that there is a safe way to do this. There's a quote in the book that says, if you want to tame it, you name it. And that's what I wanna walk you through. I wanna walk you through a short little way to practice mindfulness during your day. And one of the ways you can do this is, I've done this before, I've set a timer, actually set five timers on my phone to go off at certain times throughout the day. And when that timer goes off, if I'm able to in the moment, I will stop and spend one minute of mindfulness. And I'm gonna give you some questions to walk through in that one minute. But I would spend one minute of mindfulness and then I would go on with my day. So by the end of the day, I had spent five minutes a day in mindfulness, practicing mindfulness. By the end of the week, by Friday, I had spent 25 minutes of mindfulness. This is a great way to begin incorporating this practice, this habit into your life. And it may seem strange at first, because maybe, again, like I said, you've been told that it's not okay to feel. But I wanna tell you right now, we need to feel, we need to share these things, we need to do it in a safe way in a healthy way and learning that takes time. So this is something you could do anywhere. So when that timer goes off for just one minute, close your eyes, take a deep breath and ask yourself these three questions. What am I feeling? What am I thinking? And what am I believing right now? So it will take practice, but you will get better and better about voicing these things and naming these things. Like in the moment you could say, I'm feeling sad. I don't know why I'm feeling sad, but I'm feeling sad. And I'm thinking these thoughts right now. These are the thoughts that are running through my mind. It's like you're stopping them in their tracks. 
I'm believing this about myself or someone else right now. I'm believing that I'm not going to be okay, whatever it is. And then in that moment, you can have at your disposal a quick little affirmation, whatever it is. Maybe you have affirmations that you use already. Maybe it's a scripture verse if you're a person of faith. But have that available to kind of close out the minute. So you're redirecting everything. And then move on with your, with your day. And then when the next alarm goes off, it's interesting to see how much has changed between those times. And you can do this throughout the entire day, so they're not coming one after another. But when that next timer goes off, you may be feeling something totally different. It's just a way to be mindful, to be aware of what you're feeling emotionally in that moment, physically, spiritually, and to name it, to name it. That's the big step, is naming it. And then if you feel comfortable, if you have a friend that you trust and that you feel safe around, share it with them. Tell them, I feel sad today. I feel angry today. Use the words that you are actually experiencing. And I'm telling you, this practice of mindfulness will really help us understand more about what is driving us in the moment so that we don't end up at a place that we're wondering how in the world did I get here? Our bodies are amazing. And there are studies out there that show that your digestive system is not just about digesting food. It actually guides your emotions. And a lot of times we see this in older writings like in scripture and the Bible. We see how our gut is the seat of our emotions. This is crazy. But if your gut is out of balance physically, that can have a direct effect on your mood. Because a gut that's out of balance directly affects our serotonin levels. And serotonin regulates our mood. So if you are wanting to do something for your gut physically, I have three different products. There are prebiotics and probiotics that can help. There are three different strains of bacteria in these that help do different things. I like to say different strains do different things. So some of these you can take together. It's pretty amazing how these work and how they help balance out your gut. So these three products are Green Synergy, Biotic Sticks, and Omni Gut. And I have Green Synergy with me, the other two I don't have with me right now, but the Green Synergy is a three-in-one product. It is a powder packet. It has a vegan collagen builder in it. It has a prebiotic and a probiotic with digestive enzymes, and it has a dose of greens. It tastes great. It, tastes, it has a citrus flavor. So this is a great on-the-go way to get your greens. Just throw it in water, and you're good to go. The other one is our Biotic Sticks. I absolutely love this product because you do not have to have water. You can like carry it with you, open it up, pop the, the powder on your tongue and it dissolves and it tastes like a pixie stick. And it's great for kids. It's again, a different strain of bacteria, which does different things. So that's our Biotic Sticks. The second, the last one is Omni Gut. Omni Gut is in pill form. And it's not a very big pill, but it's in pill form, and it actually has zinc in it that helps with the lining of your gut, healing your gut. This is huge. You may want to start here, just if you have a lot of healing that needs to happen. But I wanted to share that with you because our bodies work so, so synergistically, so holistically, that when our gut is out of balance, it can directly affect our mood. I know it sounds crazy. We can't blame it on our, we can't blame everything on our gut, right? That's why I want to give you tools like mindfulness, like practicing mindfulness for five minutes a day in a small, in small portions to help you recognize your emotions, recognize what is driving you so that when you get to that spot and I don't want you to feel like how in the world did I get here? Instead, we are processing those things as they come and taking those one minute breaks throughout your day help you recognize what you're feeling, what you're thinking, and what you're believing in that moment. Thanks so much for listening. And if you guys have any questions about any of the products I mentioned, gut health, wellness coaching, I would love to be able to sit down with you and help you get to a healthier place.